Hey guys, welcome to my channel and I'm back again with another really interesting video guys. In this video, we are going to experiment with Lava model, which is a large language and vision assistant model. And guys, this is a powerful vision model which combines the capability of large language models with image analysis. So, I know you guys are excited for it. So, without taking any time further, let's get started. So guys, I already told you what a Lava model is. But what I haven't told you that this open source model, first of all, it is open source and this open source model can answer visual questions. It can generate captions and perform optical character recognition as well, which makes it an ideal solution for applications which require image based text generation. So you can see on my screen, guys, that this model is achieving SOTA on 11 benchmarks with just simple modifications to the original LAVA model. And not only that, the LAVA 1.5 model, which is shown here, is also available as a preview on the GROG API. So those of you guys who don't know about GROG, GROG is basically an LLM inference API which can be used to do a fast, a lightning fast usage of your large language model for integration with any of the application. And now because Lava model is available in the GROG, it allows us for the integration of advanced vision capabilities into applications and then, you know, it just leads us to unlock new possibilities for any image based text generation. And you can see guys that if I go to the Grok, uh, Grok cloud here in the model section, if I just control F Lava model, you can see that Lava 1.5 7 billion parameter model is now available as a uh, Grok API integration. But what are we going to do in this tutorial? In this tutorial, guys, we are going to explore the capabilities of Lava model. So we are going to see how this model can be used. And we are going to use this model to analyze its data set of dog pictures. Okay. And not only that, we will use this model to generate the image descriptions or sorry, the text descriptions of the images and then use Lama 3.1 7 billion parameter model, which is also provided by Grok to write short children's stories based upon the image provided, images provided. And by the end of this video, guys, you will actually be able to use Lava model to generate the text description of images. And then you can create stories on them based on those descriptions. And so basically, I am enabling you guys to create your own image based text generation app. So if you want to create your own content generator generation app by just uploading a set of images, this is the video you have to watch for. So without taking any time further, let's get started with the coding part. So first of all, guys, to get started, I am just going to do this in a Google Collab. And when you are doing in a Google Collab or whenever, wherever you are doing it, you need a set of images to work on. So you can see on my screen, when I am in my Google Collab, I have got this images folder here. And right now, this images folder has got four images and all these images are some dog pictures. Uh, and obviously, if you are using the same collab notebook, you need to have your own images folder with a set of images that you want to upload into. Okay. Now go to the setup part. So the first thing that we need is to install the Grok. So you need pip install Grok and then you need to import certain packages. First thing is you need to import the Grok class from the Grok package. Then we need base64 for, you know, image encoding and decoding. Then you need the image class for displaying the image and we need the OS to basically uh, store the environment variable, which is the Grok API key. Now, why do we need the Grok, Grok API key guys? Because we need to create a Grok client and that client class is the one which is responsible for uh, giving us access to these models like Llama or like Lava model. So you need to obtain the Grok API key. If you guys don't know how to obtain the Grok API key, you basically go to Grok Cloud here and then you go to the API keys and you can create your own API key and you can put it in your Google uh, Collab. If you are using Google Collab, right here in the secret section, you can access it with the user data. And if you are not using Google Collab, you can still get that Grok API key the same way. You can even put it inside the Grok client class uh, constructor here by putting API key equals to the 
uh, API key that you have just copied from the Grok Cloud. So we are just here creating a Grok uh, client here, which is nothing but calling the Grok class with an empty constructor. Uh, again, you can pass the API key inside it. Then we are initializing or we are actually uh, taking both our models. So the Lava model is this uh, uh, Lava model, which is uh, the exact name that you can find in the Grok Cloud model. So whenever you have got a model that you want to use through Grok, you need to copy the entire model ID. And that exact model ID is the one which we are you going to use, which in this case is this one. Then for the Lama 3.1 model, we are using the 70 billion versatile model here. We are not using the 405 billion parameter model because guys, that is only for preview in Grok and even Grok is charging certain amount uh, for that. The next part is how to get the images. So we have these images in the images folder and uh, we first take a bulldog.png image and we are just rendering that image here using the image class. But here is the thing guys, now we have our images, we have our model. How are we going to use the Lava model? So there are two ways that you can use the Lava model. First way is that you can take an image, you can encode it into the base64 and then you can provide that base64 as a URL to your Lava model. And the second way is to directly provide a, a URL. So either you give the actual URL of the image or you create a base64 image and provide that object to Lava. So let's see the first method here. So we have uh, our image in the image class over here. And then we create a function called as image uh, encode image. The encode image function is basically, basically taking the path of the image, opening the image, and uh, then it is reading the image and converting it into a base64 object. And when I do the encode image function, it is going to give me the base64 encoded image. Now that I have the base64 encoded image, I can use this base64 URL to provide it to my Lava model. Okay. Now, how do we use our Lava model? To use our Lava model, we have to use a uh, Grok API endpoint. And that endpoint is basically the chat completions endpoint. And we are not mentioning the endpoint here, but basically to call that endpoint, we need to use the Grok client object and then call this dot chat dot completion function, uh, sorry, dot chat dot completion instance on it. And that instance has a create function, which we need to call upon to actually access this model. Okay. Now to keep things simpler here, what we have done is we have created a function called as image to text. And there are certain arguments this function is taking. First is the clock client. Second is the model. Third is the base64 image object. And last is your prompt. Okay. That means the question that you want to ask on that image. And then we are calling our grok chat completion API using client.chat.completion.create. And the create method is taking few arguments. One is the messages and second is the model. So obviously the model here is the model that you passed into. And the messages are the messages, the conversation that you are making with the grok. Now, this messages, if you have actually experience with uh, using the Grok API, then you might know that here the structure of the JSON is a little bit different than what you are used to. Usually in this structure, we only provide the text prompt. But because this is a Lava model and this is an image text uh, conversation here, we are going to provide our prompts in two types. First is going to be the image, uh, sorry, first is going to be the text and then it is going to be the image. So here we are not doing the usual text prompt. We are using first the role, which is usual, but then we use something called as content where we don't just provide the text content. We actually provide a JSON and this is a list in JSON where we provide the type as text and then the text is the prompt. So in, so basically content is a list uh, where first type of uh, content is your text prompt and the second type of content is your image URL where the image URL is the, is the base64 image URL. Finally, you provide the model 
and then when you call the chat completion dot choices zero dot message content where it takes the first ever choice of that language model and then it gives you the content so then uh, this returns your answer and now you might be wondering how to call this function basically we first declare the prompt value which is describe this image we call the image to text function with the grok client we pass the lava model inside it we provide the base64 image object here and then finally we provide the prompt that we just created in the end guys you see that the image text returns us a uh, answer that is a description of the image and it says that in this image a well groomed muscular bulldog is standing in a lush green field blah 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 and if you try to match it with the image you see that the description is absolutely correct so there it is guys lava model does works really wonders with image analysis and that is why it is right now the state of the art but with this is not uh, what we are satisfied at right our goal is to create a content generation app by just uploading images by just giving it some images so for do, doing that we are going to use a content generation or a text generation model which is state of the art itself and that is your lama 3.1 model and here is how we are going to do it first we create a function called as short story generation here we are going to pass our grok client and this function is going to take the description of the image and just like the old fashioned grok uh, chat completion api here we are going to call chat completion dot create but here we are going to pass the messages which is in the simplest format that you imagine here the messages just have a role which is the system role first and then the content is just basic text there is no json here the content basically says that you are a children book author and write a short story about this scene which is depicted in this image or images and then the users uh, and then the user basically gives uh, the image description okay and then finally the system gives it a short story the model that we are using here is the lama 3.1 model uh, and that's the default model that's why we are not passing the model in the argument and then finally the response the model creates we are just returning that in this function so you can see that the prompt here we declared a prompt to describe the image to lava model so describe the image in detail including the dog and etc etc then we take this prompt and we pass it into the image to text function which actually gives me the image description of the image we take this description and then we pass it into the short story generation function which gives us a beautiful short story okay so basically it uh, gives us the short story of the bulldog which is you know standing in a green meadow and that is how guys with just a few lines of code you have created your own content generation function by uploading a set of images or actually a single image but just uh, with the slip of tongue guys i want to mention that this is not our goal we don't just want to generate the content on a single image we want to generate the content on a multiple images or a set of images right now here's a uh, here is a little bit of drawback here that uh, with the grok api with the lava model you cannot really provide multiple images so you have to call this function multiple times so you can see here that what we did is we took two images we encoded both the images in base64 and then we call the image to text function twice so we call the image to text function twice and it gave us two descriptions okay uh, and then both of these two descriptions we combined them together with like a concatenation and then we took this combined description and passed it into the short story generation and now you can see that it gave us a short story of two uh, dogs one in a green meadow and one in some other place uh, so that's one drawback guys that with this lava model you cannot do multiple image uploads so that's why you have to call the same function multiple times okay but that was the video guys you can see that in this tutorial we have explored the capabilities of lava model and lama 3.1 model 
with grok and you can see that in a very lightning fast inference speed we have generated the text descriptions of images and we have also created short story based on those descriptions so now you are actually able to create your own content generation application by uploading certain images you can actually become a short story writer and you can even create your own application for short story writing and now guys we have also seen how to use lava to describe image in detail and how to write lama 3.1 to write engaging stories on their description and by combining these two models we can create a powerful tool for generating the text based content from images so i would highly recommend you guys to start trying this out and create your own text generation content generation uh, image you know content generation application and uh, make some money off it if you can so thank you so much for watching guys uh, this was a video that i really wanted to create and if you learned something from it please 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 do write down in the uh, comment section whatever you learned anything you want to share any feedback question comments suggestions if you do like this video guys please do not forget to like this video and share this video with your friends if you have uh, not yet subscribed to my channel then please 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 do subscribe and hit the bell icon for future notifications of more such programming and coding related videos I will see you guys in the next video guys until then take care and bye bye